Oh, these headphones hurt my ears. Ready, go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, both players are calling go. The countdown has begun. And we're about to hop into game number one of this finals, best of five. Let me just update the overlay and I'll get right on in this. Here we go. Game number one, Gary Cup Grand Finals, best of five. Let's introduce these players. Spawning as the yellow orc from South Korea, we have Focus. And his opponent spawning as the red undead from Russia. It is happy. Undead versus orc on Melting Valley. And I'm surprised it's on Melting Valley. I f From my experience, Melting Valley is a really, really, really good orc map. <laughs> like... There's just a lot of places with claws and stuff. I know these two ogres can drop claws. They also drop um, watcher wards and such. Um, I don't believe claws drop here, but slippers of agility plus three can drop from these high priests, if I remember. And of course the green camp has a chance for claws and circlets. Ogre lord here, no overseer here. Troll warlord here. I think these are gnolls. I can't remember. I don't see this map as much. But who knows. We'll see how this game goes. And we all know Focus. He gets like the best items ever. I like hardly ever see Focus get bad items. I don't even think this guy's ever seen a ring of protection before. So. He's getting standard blade grunts. Meanwhile, Happy looks like he's doing the Ted Fiend build. So he's going to be able to get that quicker tech out and quicker death knight. And he's picking up rods and dust. A player's forces are under attack. And I want to know if he wants to try to harass focus or if he's trying to creep with skeletons. It looks like he's trying to creep with skeletons. There's one critter here. Okay, there's an Okay, he killed a corpse up there with his scouting echo. Now he's running down with his death knight. And he's gonna try to snipe the assassin. So he's gonna be able to creep out this OJ spot with just skeletons. That's pretty good. Meanwhile for focus, alright, I guess he has seen ring of protection plus four, because he just uh plus two, because he just got one now. Sells his TP, picks up the two heal salves. Does he want to try to go for an Ogre Magi snipe? It a looks like he does. He's going to try to take Happy's Ogre Magi. Oh, Happy, even using Coil on his skeletons just to keep him alive. And slowly but surely this Overseer will be going down. He took three charge of that. And he gets a Claw plus six for it. Meanwhile over here, focus. Let's see if he can get Claws. He picked up a circlet from the merchant, and he gets claws plus nine. Oh my god. Blade's already at plus 11 damage, got level two. Two two, about halfway done. Focus getting hit more grunts. A two two, a little under halfway, attack. and starting his first team. And Focus gonna go for the other Magi, and that's the thing about this map, like, Unless you're like constantly harassing the orc, he can just get buffed up. If he gets another ring uh, clause plus 9, he'll be at plus 20 damage. And that's without the orb of lightning and the Kotoara. Preferit. Alright, well. At least it's not a damage boosting R. Preferit's not nothing, something to sneer at either. If you put it on the Shadow Hunter, nice boost to health will make him survive better versus the Coil Nova. Happy's still not level 2. Undeads want to be level 3 by the time their Lich comes out. That way they can solo creep their Lich and get him leveled up. Because basically level 3 is the magic number for the undead as a race. You need level 3 Death Knight and level, two, uh, level 3 Lich for level 2 Coil and level 2 Nova. And if you can get that, then your Coil Nova will just do so much damage. It's ridiculous. A player's forces are under attack. 
But Happy also creeping, allowing Focus to creep and have plenty of chances to get his blade beefed up. Gets a greater mana. That's going to be a sweet item for that Shadow Hunter. He's going to have plenty of heal waves in the big fight. And this camp should give him level 3. Yes, it will. Even buys a 12 Berserker. So he's level 3. Uh, he goes for attack. level 2 wind walk, not level 2 crit. Happy continue to creep. Barely missing level 3. He's gonna have to clear out this green camp or something. We want 2 3 on the way. Slaughterhouse, Lich. Standard, standard, standard. For focus, tier 3. Bestiary, of course, no spirit lodge. Walkers aren't the greatest versus undead. And Shadow Hunter second. So he's gonna go triple hero orc. Oop, but we have focus harassing away. Coils go down onto his blade master. And he denies level three from happy. That's Player's a that's a really good creep jack. Keeping the opponent's death knight away from level three is so good. Trying to run away. He's sending in his skeletons, trying to kill one of these murlocs. He's trying to get that tide crawler. That should be enough. It would have been enough if his lich wasn't there. Oh no, the tide crawler never died. That's unfortunate. Player's forces are under attack. Tide crawler living with barely health, barely any health. All right, first slaughterhouse on the way for happy. There's level three. Focus just healing up with the heal cell. And his Shadow Hunter's now out. He's slow creeping him. Already got him to level two, actually. So very good creep routes coming. Very good creep routes from Focus. I don't know how um, experienced he is with this map because Melting Valley's not in the Nettie's ladder pool. Ladder map pool, so. Not too sure how often he plays in Melted Valley. I mean, I know it was a popular map back in the day. But back in the day, it was a while ago. <laughs> oh, nice. Gets the troll. So that tells Happy that he's near. Gonna use Dust. So now the blade is always revealed. Alright, Coil to secure to kill. The item was Slippers of Agility and a Roar Scroll. Which can actually be pretty good because without spirit walkers, the orc isn't going to have any kind of disenchants. So he's going to be able to keep those roars and keep the extra damage. Hello, Pi. I'm just going to call you Goraz because I am terrible at rating. Hello, Goraz. I butcher every name in the book, let's be honest here. It's my job as an American to butcher names. Alright, Focus is going to go for the Ogre Lord. See what good item he can get there. Let's happy he gets the Creep Jack. Oh, maybe. No. Nope. Focus still gets it. Book of the Dead is the item. He might just use it here. No, he loads him up in the Zeppelin. And happy. There's no way he's going to have Web already. He just now starts it. Web's a relatively quick upgrade, but this does allow Focus to get away. He'll sap on the plate. He's gonna hang out nearby. Lich still not at level three though. He's missing that damage. He's got Nova, but he doesn't have the strong Nova, the really good Nova. A town is under siege. Oh, Book of the Dead being used. He's gonna cancel that cigarette, and those skeletons are gonna have loads of fun sniping away these acolytes. Wait a minute, it's gonna run out. One acolyte already drops. Player's forces are under attack. Have to be pulling some ghouls to deal with this. So far, only one acolyte's died. He's got good micro, keeping the second one alive. For now, maybe. Ooh, that was close. Meanwhile, down here, Happy was creeping. Lich at plus 14 damage. He's got two slippers, and you said one, and I was told that one agility gives 1% attack increase, so he's got 6% attack speed increase. Decent. Oh my god, a mana stone. 
So you're gonna put it on the SH or the TC? Does he want more stomps or more heal waves? That's the question. So right now he's keeping it on the blade. All right, he puts on a shadow on her. So extra mana regen plus the greater mana. And keep in mind, the mana stone can be consumed as if it was a greater mana pot. Attack. So basically he's got two greater mana pots here. That's 600 mana in total plus the extra regen. This shadow hunter will basically never run out of heal waves. Happy better hope he gets the dark ranger and silence his ass. <laughs> Happy creeping out the red though. Let's see what super duper item we can get from this granite golem. Crystal ball. Definitely not the item he wanted. And he's gonna use it to scan. He sees that focus is about to creep out this red. And he's gonna take that opportunity and he's gonna push into Focus's main by the looks of it because he knows he's gonna be busy creeping. Forces are under attack. You know, I'm surprised Happy didn't get a third hero. He's sticking with DK Lich. I guess he knew there wouldn't be too many creeps a left for the Dark Rangers, so she would still be pretty low level, but I just feel like silence is so important. Either that or get the Pit Lord for his how, but I just feel like you need triple heroes, especially versus triple hero or. I just don't think you, DK Lich can cut it with triple hero or. You need that crowd control, something. Was the red a creep killed? He was. Helm of Valor was the item. At TC at plus 12 with the Kota Aura. Here comes the blade. Gonna go right on the statue, but Frosty was already on him. Quickly pops him into a destroyer. Pops both destroyers, actually. More burrows go down, and focus the supply cap. 49 with 40, and Happy gonna TP out of that. Alright, no temple, so... No Banshees coming in anytime soon for Happy. And Focus got an expansion. I totally missed that. Was that a tiny Great Hall? It must have been, right? Otherwise, I would have noticed that, I would think. So, my bad, guys. Focus has two bases. <laughs> and the Blade Master is literally one experience away from a level four. Thank you, Sturgy Mama. I'm glad you're enjoying the cast. <laughs> and Vuln heal scroll. Oh, and a Toma GG. That Tarn Chieftain getting closer and closer to level 3. And finally happy getting a Pit Ward. So he's going to have Hallow Terror, so it's increased missed chances for Focus's units. And he's a pretty tanky guy. He's got a face only a mother could love, though. It's a pretty ugly face. All right, here we go. Focus going right for the fiends. One fiend's gonna burrow. Uh, Focus doesn't have any dust, so this fiends will be alive. Nice coil saves that one, but a 222 crit still will take him down. All right, another heal wave coming in from the Shadow Hunter. Invuln pot being used by the TC. Another fiend drops here, and it's 52 supply versus 54 right now. All right, another howl. Not really hitting much. Okay, it did hit the blade and stuff. This statue goes down, and Happy's losing a lot of units right now. TC next to get focused down. Statue getting focused down as well. He goes down. Level 3 TC. So now he's level 2 stomp. He's just out of mana. Heal wave at the last second. But the TC still goes down. Looks like Shadow Hunter's next on the kill list. TK gets hexed. We got three pretty healthy fiends burrowed here. I think Happy forgot about him right now. He's too busy microwing. His Death Knight, he has one coil left in him. Oh my god, I hope he has Death Pack. Oh, no, he throws down a coil. And Snare gonna secure this Fiend kill. And the front goes down. And is Happy's Heroes enough to carry this? I don't know. Blade Masters at plus 36 with the Kodoara. That's pretty good. Alright, now the Raider goes down. And Happy is doing it, I think. Level 4 on the Shadow Hunter, though. That's level 2 Hex. No Destroyer here, so no devouring that Hex either. Another Heal Wave. Both the Greater Mana and the Mana Stone were both consumed already. That's how many Heal Waves the Shadow Hunter's been chucking down. Alright, Kodo digesting a Fiend. Let's see if this snack agrees with him or not. Ooh, nice Burrow. Coil never hitting that blade. But, Windwalk puts him in the safety. The Shade was over here. 
Makoto does go down, and the Fiend will go into safety, and Happy is doing this really with just his heroes. His Death Knight's starting to take some damage, though. Shadowhunter's got a heal wave in him. And Snare on the Death Knight. Death Pack gonna be used to keep that DK alive. Blade Master even using an Impel Pine. The Death Knight is surrounded. Happy's gonna TP out of that. After that fight is 58 versus 40. Focus up by 18 supply, and he's up on the base. So Happy's not gonna have as much resources to rebuild all those units he lost. He's already starting to unsummon new buildings just to get that extra bit of gold in really fast. Hmm. Level 5 Death Knight wouldn't be bad. Level 3 Coil does a lot of healing slash damage. Which just now getting level 4. Got the level 4 Shadow Hunter, level 4 Blade, Heal Pot, and TC. He's being resurrected right now. Level 3 does take a little bit of time to come back, of course. Is under siege. And Happy already coming back in for an assault. It's 46 supply for him versus 59 of focus. All right, the snare's going down onto these fiends. Nova getting one of the raiders. He actually misses the heal wave. Coil on the fiend as well. All right, and there's the dust this time, so nowhere the blade can hide. He uses the heal pot, though. All right, heal wave gets the raiders. Happy losing his fiends left and right, though. Focus doing a good job at killing him off. Alright, another Howl of Terror from that Pit Lord. And the Raider, he goes down. Statue as well. Nice stun from the TC. That's gonna be Happy's last Fiend going down. Another Heal Wave saves that blade. That was the last Heal Wave, but of course the Shadow Hunter has a mana pot. He's always got mana. Coil getting the ledge. Oh, and the Shadow Hunter saving himself with that heal wave. And there goes the Pit Ward. And I don't think Happy can win this at this point. It just looks way too bleak. And yes, he agrees. GG is called.